Hello. Blind Pew here. If you tuned into my last transmission, link on screen, now, you will know, that I'm at the Zerora Deep in the Formidine Rift, and, that we have just been on board the Zerora looking for survivors. There are none. I will not transmit footage of our search on board the vessel as it is too harrowing, by far. Wish us luck. Later. Anyway, for now the time has come to depart. You will note that our hull is severely damaged with only 49% structural integrity remaining. My chief of engineering, Ben Gunn. Hi there. Temporary communications officer Jed Munoz. Whatever pew. Work experience boy Swaldo Parsons and Goodbye. I intend to make for the Heart Nebula on the edge of the Formidine Rift, where we are told there is a new asteroid base with repair facilities. Wish us luck. Okay, so after a long and arduous journey through the Formidine Rift we have reached the Heart Nebula. Time to see if we can find this new asteroid base. If it exists it will certainly be a welcome resource for explorers in the area. I hear there is also one in the Sol Nebula right next door. And there it is, Farsight Expedition Base. Hi, just popped up from my cabin to let you know that, as the galaxy's most famous explorer, it was I, Jed Ranyos who first discovered this expedition base. Of course you did, Jed. Look at that view. The base is actually within the ring system of the gas giant. Yes, quite extraordinary, and just look at the view with that nebula as a backdrop. Fantastic. Bring us in steadiest Waldo. Don't forget that our hull is not in a very good state. Looks like the asteroid base is currently on the dark side of the gas giant. Navigation may be difficult. Carefulest Waldo, I know you are the work experience boy, but we don't need silent running. Try to get us down in one piece. And way down. Excellent. Right, let's check out these repairs. There. And there. Okay, looks like we are repaired. A useful base this, though limited in services as you can see. As I mentioned earlier, I believe there is also a base in the next dorsal nebula. Although we don't need to go there. Actually, it would be a shame not to check it out, briefly, whilst we are here, in case it offers something special over and above Farsight Expedition Base. Oh, I can't believe this, it is over 200,000 light seconds from the main star. Not worth the trip compared to Farside Expedition Base. Hang on Jed, it may have some special services that make it worth it. Looks pretty similar so far. Oh look, another Commander Commander Eva Sarah. And the services at the station pew? The station has no services over and above the one in the Heart Nebula, so I recommend all use the one in the Heart Nebula. Still, it was not a complete loss, as we got to chat with Commander Eva Sarah. Okay, so we've received some messages at the unknown. Flower ships, is that what we are calling them now Ben? Yes Pew. The unknown flower ships have been seen refueling at barnacles in the Pleiades. So, it is full speed to the Pleiades. 
Earth that is some way off, but if we use a neutron star highway combined with a star chaser jump range, it may not take too long. Yes, Jed, the plan D's. I say, this is a vigorous one isn't it? The FSD is fully charged, but I'm having some difficulty pulling the star chaser out of the stream. Come on old girl. Aha, there we go. Onwards then. And so now, we've arrived in the Pleiades. Pleiades Sector OITC3-7 Planet A6 to be precise. This is going to be amazing. Apparently the flower ships refuel up these barnacles using a technology similar to the scan we saw when they hyperdicted us a while back. Astounding, even I, Jed Nunyo's galactically famous explorer, have not seen this. Yes Jed, it should be fantastic. Apparently they are turning up regularly. We just need to get to the barnacles, and in about 15 to 20 minutes we should see this amazing sight. I can't wait. So, 20 minutes have passed, they should be here any minute. Can't see them yet. No. Chaps, from what I hear, we should not have much longer to wait. Phew, it is literally days later and, still, we have not seen anything at all. I know, it is really tedious all this waiting. And the worst of it is we just sit here and there is nothing happening. Does nothing of interest ever happen here? Hello. The infamous Harry Potter and the Salamace demise. I think I'll take to the hills. You guys get the Star Chaser into orbit fast. Oh. Oh dear. I've got a bad feeling about this. I'm hoping these hills can offer some protection. Oof. Although. He is losing his shields. Cribes, I'm not sure how much more of this my SRV can take. There go his shields. But alas they are back. Arg, down to 50% hull. I'll die immediately if I leave this hill, but on the hill I may just be prolonging the inevitable. 25% hull. Critical hull. 1% left. There is only one way this is going. Ah, Benjedus Waldo Ive. Joined, you back on the Star Chaser. We are taking a quick trip to Alcazar's Hope in the Maropay system. I've paid for another of my vessels to be transferred over, and it may have arrived. It has, Sterling.
closer back to planet A6, whilst this vessel is, I must admit, rather cramped for the three of us, and we have had to leave a stalled overwork experience boy back at Alcazar's hope, it should be fast enough to get us out of trouble. I've knocked a bit of speed off by fitting an SRV, but that can't be helped. Coming in low and fast. Picking up something on the scanners. A python. Commander Jonas. And two others. An Imperial Clipper. A Commander Mysterious. I need to be careful, that may have a speed close to my own. I don't like the look of these, they look up to no good. The Imperial Clipper is attempting to close on me. As I thought, we are under attack. Time to get out of here. They can't keep up, and have broken off. I've landed beyond scanner range, but I can still pick up their comms chatter over local. They are clearly up to no good, attacking all commanders coming to see the flower ships, assuming those do ever appear. These recent contacts may be part of the smiling dog crew, I assume. It is too hot here to wait at the barnacles, but there is another barnacle site in this system at planet B3 20,000 light seconds from the main star. So let's head over there. This one is in a basin that is almost entirely without light. However, there are reports that the flower ships have been seen here, so I'm really hopeful that we will see something soon. And, being 20,000 light seconds from the main star it is unlikely there will be any pirates around. This should be fantastic, not long to wait now, I assume. We've been here for a few days now. Add that to the few days at Planet A6 and it is getting ridiculous. Are you sure that these flower ships even come to the barnacles? Is it an elaborate hoax? I empathize with you Jed. It is extremely irritating. I have many things I need to be doing back in the bubble. But here we wait and wait and wait. Guys, I hear that there may be another barnacle site on the other side of this planet that the flower ships are reported to visit. Let's try that one. Okay, so here we are, and as you can see I've purposefully, that's purposefully, positioned the SRV at this jaunty angle for the perfect viewing angle for when the flower ships arrive. It absolutely cannot be long until they arrive now. Where am I? I've been waiting so long that I must have fallen asleep there. Whoa. Look at this. Are they here? Oh, hang on. I've not lost power. What's going on? 
Oh, I see. We've run out of SRV fuel whilst I was asleep. Need to refuel. Before I run out of oxygen. Come on Pew, get it together. There are only 25 seconds of oxygen left, come on. There, okay. I'll give it a bit more time. But if it continues like this, I may only get to see these flower ships vicariously. Until next time. Good luck commanders. And I'll see you out there.